big up to everyone um lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching uh, we need unity platform from thank you so much and happy happy sunday to you wherever you are very quick one to remind you once again intercop for you whatever you need just contact us and if you want to grow your hair as well if you're a guy and you do not have hair and you want to grow your hair or you want your hair to be strong if you're a lady as well this oil right here um, is oil that do make your hair grow like how you want you know a lot of young guys out there always want to have a lot of hair and if you're an old man as well and you want to grow your 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 hair to show the ladies that you are still strong then this oil is for you and you can get the normal right here and try to call nanaya and get the oil and ladies you can call as well she's selling a lot of things if you want more information from um, nanaya as well just call sister nanaya and get all the things that you want and you can follow her on tiktok as well to get more information if you want but guys i want to remind you again pick the number call or text only if you want to buy um, the oil or you want to know more information about the oil or something but do not call and begin asking that how can i able to come in germany she is she is not german embassy if you want to go germany just go to German embassy in Ghana or wherever you are and ask German embassy how can you go to Germany okay do not call in midnight video call that can I see your face she's not into those things she's into business I want to clear this for some of you guys to know so get the oil right here and look good okay let's go straight to the point guys this video basically I'm gonna talk about Ghana football Ghana black galaxy Ghana football particular. But before then, let me say big congratulations to Anthony Semenyo for making a great move to the Premier League. I always say this, hard work pays. If you put it in hard work and love what you are doing, the universe, uh, you will get an award. That is the award Anthony Semenyo making a big move to the English Premier League. But we will come back and talk about the move and we will come back and talk about um, Felix Afanyajan situation now as well struggling for playing time we'll come back and talk about it but let's deal of ghana football for now as we all know yesterday black galaxy they disgraced us big big disgrace this is where ghana football are reaching up now if i was a, a cat mr cat i would have resigned from ghana football it is disgrace that is why I'm always saying when I came out to talk about a lot of those things, people uh, think that I'm too controversial. Uh, nothing but the fact. You see, if like it is a white man, like uh, Kwesi, uh, I mean, Mr. Kett, like this morning, the best way to do is to just come out to announce to Ghanaians that thank you so much. I appreciate everybody that vote for me to become Ghana football president. I think now I cannot be able to continue and I appreciate everyone. I want to leave everything here so that someone that understand the football very well will continue and I appreciate all of us who will like, we'll, we'll come out here and thank Mr. Kett as well. But as a black man, because we are always there for business, we are always there for our self-interest, we are not thinking about the country, we are not thinking about the people that put their heart so much into this game we will always be there till problem happen then we will now say okay then i'm leaving why i'm saying this because mr Kett, since mr Kett took over ghana football tell me what proper thing they put out there tell me what proper thing do you see the game i came out here i spoke about it my last previous videos I spoke about it that if you look at the way of the Black Galaxy play for the first opening game against Madagascar was was very very terrible and I myself I was a little bit calm thinking that okay the way we have our mentality that like Ghana every tournament Ghana opening game doesn't go well in this and that so let's wait till the 
second game. Do you want the second game against uh, 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 Sudan? Do you watch against Sudan? The Sudanese are also terrible team. If like the Sudanese was a, a team that know how to score goals and things, I don't even think that the Black Galaxy would have even played the ACD game. But because we do not want the truth, and when some of us, we came out here to tell you the truth, you think that we are controversial and we always want to go after people. Far beyond that, but nothing but the truth. Do you watch yesterday game? That is no proper, like, that is no one play. You know, sometimes team play, and the end of the day, you can say, okay, it is only this player that impressed me. It is only this player that impressed me. But at that none, all of the players, if you pick me, pick some guys that uh, play for. Uh, 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 like Ghana, we call it one chendi. We would have played better football more than what these guys did yesterday. Look at, look at Niger. Look at the ball. Sometimes they get to a point they develop some confidence of the ball playing. There was no rushing. There was no. They, they, they saw us clearly that we we are just having the name of Ghana, but when they come to the feed, we are zero. Look at the ball yesterday and look at their, their second goal. You don't have a chance to watch the game. Do you watch the second goal? Mr. Ket took Ghana football. We went to African Cup of Nation. Then the team that eliminated Ghana not guess anything but Comoros. Not to disrespect Comoros, but we are talking about football here. When we are talking about football, African football, Comoros no come near Ghana anywhere in football when we are talking about football. But Comoros is a team that eliminated Ghana in African Cup of Nations. Very, very bad, very, very terrible under Mr. Ket. And, 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 and we move from there, seeing the world, we mess up on the African Cup of Nations. We should trust them. We should believe them. They are going to the World Cup. To redeem their to make Ghanaians proud, spend a lot of money, and people are crying back home. People to buy pure water now. Very terrible. This money that could, could have do something better in Ghana. Waste time, space, money. Guess get one draw with Uruguay to qualify Ghana. We we'll mess up big time. And as a responsible leader, as a responsible president, the best way I was expecting him to come out to apologize to uh, apologize to all Ghanaians, the way they mess up or they woke up. You are now coming out with trade message that anybody that try to say something negative about your your leadership or Ghana football, you are going to take them for court. We always sit down here to talk good about you. Why you do not? come out to talk about the people that always talk good about you, including myself. I defend you for many, many times here on my platform. Then as a good leader, when you mess up, you don't come out giving threat messages to your people that follow you. You rather come out to encourage them. You rather come out to tell them where it went wrong and you will try to fix it. That is the good leader. That is the very thinking right man. You mess up. African Cup of Nations big time, mess up of the World Cup big time, and now Chan Tournament. A lot of all of them were saying that well, the Chan Tournament is the one to go there to show what Ghana are capable of doing and they want to do what, and some of the players as well, they want to go to the Chan Tournament to make Ghanaians happy and proud because of Black Stars messed up at the World Cup. You see what happened yesterday. It not get not just any team that eliminate Ghana, but Niger. Not to disrespect those countries that I'm talking about. But as you all know, not just all the Ghanaians, but football lovers know that when it comes to football, when you're talking about Niger and Comoros, they are nowhere near about Ghana football. But here we are. Why? Simply because 
we do not want the truth we do not want the truth that is how Ghana football is now we always talk about our Premier League our Premier League are not good players that will do well why because some of the players are also fighting to get their daily bread so they will leave the Premier League and go for if not because of Ghana football now how can Sudan Sudanese club to buy Ghana players expensive Tanzania clubs buying Ghana players expensive you go to uh, 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 like countries that when you talk about football you don't know that football exists in their country not to disrespect them but if we have a club that pay these players good can keep some of our players someone have one billion in account and say he's going to own a club and there is no proper law there is no proper something that if you want to own a club you need to have some certain things you need to reach some if like because of those kind of things like you have one billion in your account and you have to own a club like all of us we will have a club look at ghana football now guys look at ghana football now and i was hearing some time that when they was going to the african cup when they they went to the chan tournament mr Kett, they were sending message to the black galaxy camp that if they didn't do well they have to put in their mind that they're gonna resolve all the team in the management team you have that thinking resolving all the management team on the black galaxy but you are not advising yourself to move out from there to leave that is how why they have to make a a, a program that okay if you want to be a ghana uh, uh, football present you should be a club owner before when you give to someone that they are a club owner you think the person is coming to focus on ghana football the person is coming for business why you think the people they own clubs you think they own the clubs just for fun they own the clubs because of business and when they when they begin to have the power they turn that power to invest in their business no one create business to lose but because we do not want the truth So it is it is so sad. Let's talk about um Felice Afanyajan that a lot of people are saying that now the guy is messing up, the guy is not getting playing time in this and that. Is it is Ghana Ghana caused this 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 young guy for the situation the guy is passing now are not getting playing time. And let me tell you why. Do you know the reason why Anthony Semenyo get um SC Botmo? They went they move on to Antonio Semenyo not to take the guy hard work away. I'm I'm breaking this to something for you. Not to take the guy hard work away. The guy really put it hard work. But before the English club will buy you, sometimes they check your CV as well. So when the guy is performing, they will basically say, okay, Antonio Semenyo is doing pretty well. And secondly, he went work up with Ghana, so he have work up experience a little bit. That make the club move to get into the semi not to say the guy is not a quality player not to say the guy is not putting hard work but most of the english clubs when they want to make a move for a player they check your cv so if like we wasn't uh, like a uh, uh, fellas of Jan, we send the guy to walk up maybe the guy will not pass in this kind of situation that is passing now even a small club but he cannot even get playing time why because the guy was dropped for the World Cup list. So even any club that's going to buy the, the guy, they will be thinking like, ah, this guy, if like he was good for the very first place, the country will not drop him for the World Cup. But if like the guy even went to the World Cup without even playing, that alone would add to the guy CV to get next a good club. That is where we build players to become a good players. The guy will get a good club, move the good club to help the country as well. But we mess all those things up. And when we came out to want to tell people the truth, I always tell you guys that. Why, I, why I'm not coming here fighting, talking about Spanish football, Spanish design. I live here. I do my thing, my everything here. But why I'm always so angry sometimes about Ghana football. We all want things to go how we want. 
So if I was Mr. Cat, I would guess put all my tools down and say, today I'm not Ghana football present again. But they will never do it because of their business. And it is you and I that give them this power. Why? When I was watching yesterday, like, like, so disgraceful. The strikers don't know where they have to stand. The midfielders don't know how they stand. The, the defenders, from all of them. By the way, thank you so much for always being here with the Winnie Unity platform. Happy Sunday to you once again. Bye-bye.